Chapter 29 Job again took up his parable and said, Oh, that I were as in the months of old, as in the days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone on my head, and by his light I walked through darkness, as I was in the ripeness of my days, when the friendship of God was in my tent, when the Almighty was yet with me, and my children were around me, when my steps were washed with butter, and the rock poured out streams of oil for me, when I went forth to the city gate, when I prepared my seat in the street. The young men saw me and hid themselves. The aged rose up and stood. The princes refrained from talking and laid their hand on their mouth. The voice of the nobles was hushed, and their tongue stuck to the roof of their mouth. For when the ear heard me, then it blessed me, and when the eye saw me, it commended me, because I delivered the poor who cried, and the fatherless also, who had none to help him. The blessing of him who was ready to perish came on me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness, and it clothed me. My justice was as a robe and a diadem. I was eyes to the blind, and feet to the lame. I was a father to the needy, the cause of him whom I didn't know I searched out. I broke the jaws of the unrighteous, and plucked the prey out of his teeth. Then I said, I shall die in my own house. I shall number my days as the sand. My root is spread out to the waters. The dew lies all night on my branch. My glory is fresh in me. My bow is renewed in my hand. Men listened to me, waited, and kept silence for my counsel. After my words they didn't speak again. My speech fell on them. They waited for me as for the rain. Their mouths drank as with the spring rain. I smiled on them when they had no confidence. They didn't reject the light of my face. I chose out their way and sat as chief. I lived as a king in the army, as one who comforts the mourners.